With the speedboat still in the water, a plane suddenly appears on Duncan's radar. It might be Russian. Our long-range radars are picking up air contact. The air team are trying to work out what type of aircraft that contact is and whether or not that, uh, that contact poses any threat. 049, Top King, 049! Each shout means another plane has been detected. Assumption is that they are Russian, so they're coming from Russian airspace uh, and from a Russian point of origin. The Russian fighter jets are taking off from Crimea. And they're heading straight for Duncan. HMS Duncan is just 30 miles off the coast of Crimea, and Russian jets are swarming all over the ship. Numerous uh, flankers and fences are uh, now generally transiting north and into territorial airspace. Green 170 about to pass overhead. We've got fences flying around the force, passing about two, three hundred feet height. Two or three more um, aircraft uh, more to the east. But the crew need to find out why. Are they here to attack or intimidate? The Commodore suspects the jets are here because the Russians don't want Duncan to move any closer to Crimea. I think their tactics are naive, OK? What they don't know is how capable this ship is. This is NATO warship Delta 37. Flight controller Matt Rayside issues a warning to the Russian pilots. The jets are coming too close to Duncan's radar, which is so powerful it could harm their electronics and cause them to crash. You are closing my position. We are operating high power radars. Request to remain outside two miles of your safety. So what we're doing at the moment is tracking them, reading the appropriate uh, approach warnings with regards to our high cone radar, uh, and making sure that they understand that we're, we're able to track the whole thing and monitor it. I, I, I need to. One of the Russian pilots has sent Duncan a farewell message. When they say good luck, they're going to come back. I think, I imagine the good luck was uh, post their display of air power, um, saying uh, good luck uh, in the future, or good luck defeating us with this many aircraft airborne. Uh, so they, had, they had 17 aircraft, we've got 48 missiles, so I think we're going to win that one. <laughs> Very useful. Very useful to see. OK, two, listen in. One ear up. Commodore wishes to address you all. Right, Duncan, an amazing job there. You are probably the only maritime asset that has seen a raid of that magnitude in the last 25 years. Um, the way you dealt with it was exceptional. Very, very well done. Be ready for them to come back. Last and best. Thanks very much. In the end, we had 16 or 17 um, Russian aircraft lifting, which is nothing we've ever seen before. Uh, and as far as we're aware, nothing that a British ship or a NATO ship has ever seen. They did a couple of low flybys, and the closest one we had was about 200 yards off the beam. We'll spend months looking at pictures and videos of these jets, and then to have them flying, you know, 200 feet down the side of the bridge wing. If we were in a wartime scenario, you know, absolutely, it would be terrifying when you see that much activity. I think it reinforces the nature of what people expect at the moment um, and why there is a challenge from Russia at the moment. To, to me, it felt unprecedented, and, and the Commodore did say he thought it was unprecedented in terms of the scale. 
What I can tell you is that the, there were more uh, aircraft than we have seen in, in a long time. 